One unique characteristic of dogs is their ability to give birth to multiple babies. A typical dog can produce six puppies or more in every litter. However, when Kira the cane corso in the story gave birth to her litter, she did something unexpected, leaving her owner shocked and dumbfounded. Natalia and Albert were a cute couple from Ramona in Verona. They had dwelled together for many years and always wanted a family dog. Natalia and Albert had grown up in homes where animals surrounded them. So even as adults, they were still fond of animals. But of all pets, they loved dogs the most. In short, they were the true definition of what you'd call dog people. So one day, the couple decided it was high time they went and got what they always craved, a family dog. In a flash, the couple found themselves in an animal shelter, walking through many dogs to see which one they liked. Their attention wasn't immediately hooked until they saw a young, adorable cane corso named Kira. A quick examination of the dog showed she was beautiful, energetic, and younger. The primary thing that made Natalia pick Kira was that she reminded her of the dog she once had when she was a child. So when she spotted Kira, she had already fallen in love with the dog. The couple did the necessary protocols and took their new dog home. As if by a miracle, Kira fit right into the family. She filled the gap in Natalia and Albert's life that they never even realized they had. After spending over a year bonding with the family, Kira became an inseparable part of their life. However, the couple then decided it would be nice to have some puppies running around the house. At least Kira wouldn't be alone anymore. And they would have more fun with more dogs to play around. Kira was also younger, fit, and capable of producing her own puppies. And so Albert found the perfect male dog to breed with her lovely Kira. After introducing the two dogs to each other, it didn't take much for them to get locked onto each other and mate. Soon after, it was confirmed that Kira had become pregnant. Natalia and Albert couldn't hold their joy. They were about to become dog grandparents. The news of having a few puppies to care for excited the couple. So much that Albert joked that it would be fun. If Kira gave birth to 99 puppies like in the Disney film 101 Dalmatians. This, of course, was a crazy thought because there is no way a dog can give birth to 99 babies. Usually, when a dog gives birth, it's about 5 to 10 puppies. However, Natalia still couldn't get the thought out of her mind. Giving birth to multiple puppies can be disastrous for some dogs. The more puppies a mother produces, the higher the chances of birth complications. Natalia knew three or four puppies would be okay for her. But little did she know that Kira had other plans for her, huge plans. As the pregnancy progressed, Kira, Natalia's dog, began to balloon. Natalia quickly took her to the vet for a checkup and to ensure everything was all right. Natalia was shocked by the vet's report when the results came out. It turned out that Kira wasn't carrying four or five puppies, as her mom expected, but had at least 13 puppies. The vet disclosed that there might be even a few more puppies tucked away inside Kira's womb. Natalia's mouth dropped open when she heard how blessed she and Albert were soon to be. Having so many puppies would be so much fun, but so much work would be involved too. Albert did his best to calm Natalia down. The main focus then was on Kira. Ensuring she was happy and healthy was paramount to ensure the safe delivery and nurturing of the puppies. Giving birth to such a large litter isn't a big deal for dogs. A dog's body can naturally withstand the pressure and strains of carrying and delivering several puppies simultaneously. Unlike humans, as time went by, Kira's body grew larger. And Albert and Natalia observed her while trying not to get overly concerned. 
Kira had put on a few pounds and seemed uncomfortable at times. But overall, the young soon-to-be mother handled the pregnancy incredibly well. Although it was her first litter. When the time finally came for Kira to prepare her nest. And get ready for the delivery of the puppies. She did so as best as she could. Dogs instinctively know when they're close to labor. And start to prepare themselves adequately. They'll seek a nice warm spot. Gather blankets, and all that. Natalia and Albert assisted as best as they could. A bowl of water and snacks was also kept on standby just. In case Kira got hungry or thirsty during birth. Natalia stayed next to her dog, prepared. To spend her night with Kira. However long it might be. And indeed, it was a long night. But more than that, the unexpected turn. Of events surprised Natalia. Kira started giving birth to her puppies at about 8 p.m. The moment her first puppy came out. She instinctively licked it clean and nuzzled up against it. Latching on to feed her. The second puppy soon came out, then a third. Fourth, and so on. With each puppy that came out. Kira repeated the same motherly treatment. And care she had shown to the first one. Natalia and Albert just sat by. Admiring their dog and the beautiful work of nature on display. All they could do was soothe Kira and talk to. Her calmly so she didn't panic. More puppies kept coming out until the 13th finally came out. Just as the vet predicted. Kira quickly tended to the puppies while waiting anxiously to see. If she had any more puppies left inside her. Several minutes passed until eventually. Another pup emerged. And then another. They were now 15 puppies. Natalia couldn't. Believe what she was witnessing. She counted the puppies repeatedly just to be. Sure she wasn't dreaming. And yes, they were staring at her, 15 healthy puppies. Albert just sat there speechless. With the 15 furry babies squealing around them. It seemed as though Kira was done giving birth. But nature was not done with her yet. After an hour and a half of rest and sleep. Kira went into labor again. This time she produced an additional four puppies. Totaling 19. Natalia had never imagined Kira. Could deliver 19 pups at once. Who would imagine such a thing was possible? For a first time dog mama. But the results were right there to prove it. Natalia and Albert spent a long night tending to the puppies. Ensuring they all got sufficient milk from the mother. By morning. Natalia took the newborns to the vet for examination. Sadly, the smallest of the litter. One of the last four, couldn't survive. Albert had to handle the sorrowful task of. Burying it in a small grave in the garden. However, there was no time to mourn. For Kira, Natalia, and the other 18 pups. All 18 puppies needed optimum care and attention. And Kira gave the best care she could. Thankfully, the medical diagnosis of the 18 puppies showed. That none of them had any health issues or complications. This, in itself. Was a miracle considering how large the litter was. It isn't uncommon to find puppies with congenital disabilities. When they're part of a large litter. But that wasn't the case here. Besides the unlucky one that passed away. Kira and Natalia didn't lose any more pups. Kira's vet also told her that she's pretty lucky. Because dogs rarely give birth to that many puppies at one time. The only other instance the vet had heard of was. That of a Tibetan Mastiff from China. Which also delivered 19 puppies. So Kira had broken a record for her breed. The 18 puppies grew big and stronger. And Kira proved to be an excellent mama. They were proud of their incredible Kira. What did you think of this fantastic story? How would you feel if you were in the shoes of Natalia and Albert? Would you like to have 19 puppies running around your house? In the depths of a jungle, the wild leopard. 
which is selfless because of chasing its prey, gradually lost its direction. The lonely wild leopard fell into the river, seeing that its life was in danger. It happened that the soldiers passing by, at this time rescued the wild leopard. But among them, this wild leopard's behavior of the leopard is amazing. Wild leopards have grown up in the jungle since they were young. They are agile by nature and good at hunting. Whether in the woods or on the flat ground, they can always catch their prey quickly. Every day, wild leopards walk, jump and climb through the jungle in search of food and safety. One day, the wild leopard was hunting along the bank of the river. When suddenly a prey jumped out of the river, the wild leopard chased it but failed to notice the slippery stone under its feet. Accidentally, the wild leopard lost its balance and fell into the river. It struggled desperately, but the river became more and more urgent. And the wild leopard soon fell into the water. The wild leopard kept thumping, trying to swim to the shore in the rapids. But the river became more and more turbulent. And the current became more turbulent. The body of the wild leopard was constantly impacted by the current, making it unable to stabilize its body. The wild leopard felt its limbs getting heavier and heavier, as if being held down by an invisible force, preventing it from swimming quickly. Although the wild leopard was struggling desperately, the strength of the river was getting stronger and stronger, and it was washed farther and farther away from the shore. The wild leopard felt weaker and weaker. Its body gradually became numb, and it began to gradually lose consciousness. The scene in front of him became more and more blurred, and finally turned into darkness. As if the wild leopard had sunk into a bottomless abyss, the wild leopard already felt that its life was dying, and it could no longer hold on. Its breathing became shallower. Its limbs gradually lost strength, and its eyelids became heavier and heavier. It thought it was about to die, destined to end its life in this strange river. However, at the moment when the wild leopard was about to close its eyes, it heard a voice, which was very loud, as if it came from a distant place. The wild leopard opened its eyes with the last of its strength and found that a team of soldiers was marching along the river bank, approaching its location. The wild leopard screamed with all its might, trying to get their attention. It made a final cry, hoping to be rescued by soldiers. Although it is very weak, its instinct tells it that this team will be its savior. The soldiers immediately noticed the cries of the wild leopard. They walked to the river and found the figure of the wild leopard struggling in the water. They took immediate action and dragged the wild leopard ashore with a rope while starting first aid. After the soldiers carried the wild leopard ashore, they immediately started first aid. They wiped the water off the wild leopard with a towel, checked whether it was injured, and gave it a simple bandage. At the same time, they also fed some food and water to the wild leopard to meet its basic needs. The soldiers soon discovered that although the wild leopard was very weak, it was not seriously injured. They speculated that the wild leopard might be exhausted from struggling in the water for a long time. So they decided to take care of the wild leopard and help it recover gradually. The soldiers wrapped the wild leopard in cloth, moved it to a place sheltered from the wind, and padded it with cushions to ensure that its resting environment was comfortable. In order to facilitate the care of the wild leopards, the soldiers also collected some fruits and plants nearby as food for the wild leopards. In the next few days, the soldiers took care of the wild leopard with all their strength. They feed the wild leopard every day, clean its hair and body, and ensure its rest and hygienic environment. 
The wild leopard gradually regained its strength and began to walk around and find food by itself. Soldiers also began to establish an interactive relationship with wild leopards. They then started playing with it, heading its head and body. The wild leopards also gradually accepted the soldiers' contact and showed a friendly attitude. The soldiers brought the leopard back to his camp and treated it so that its injuries were relieved. A few months later, the wild leopard recovered. In order to repay the soldier for saving his life, it chose to stay by the soldier's side and accompany the soldier as a bodyguard. In the camp, the wild leopard leads a busy life, protecting the soldiers and the territory around the camp. The wild leopard's outstanding performance and loyalty were appreciated and respected by the soldiers. And they all liked this wild leopard very much. Over time, a deep friendship was established between the wild leopard and the soldiers. Whenever soldiers need help, wild leopards always rush forward to protect their safety. In the hearts of soldiers, wild leopards have already become irreplaceable partners and friends. The soldiers knew that the wild leopard was a wild animal and should live in a natural environment. And they wanted the wild leopard to return to the embrace of nature. So they began to gradually reduce the care of the wild leopard. Let it learn to hunt independently. And at the same time began to look for its family in the jungle. However, the wild leopard was unwilling to leave these soldiers. It's used to the company of these humans, and knows they've saved its life. Whenever the soldiers tried to return it to nature, the wild leopard would follow them and even stayed by their side, refusing to leave. The soldiers began to realize that the wild leopards had considered them family. They were very touched and began to take better care of the wild leopards. They built a simple hut for the wild leopard, provided it with food and water, and protected it from other wild animals. Although the soldiers have given up the idea of returning the wild leopard to its natural habitat. They are still trying to provide it with a better environment. They began to gradually establish a relationship of mutual trust and dependence. The wild leopard also gradually learned to coexist with these humans and gave it its contribution in hunting and protecting soldiers. The wild leopard lived with the soldiers for a long time and the relationship between them became very deep. The soldier knew very well that the leopard had paid for his life. And he always wanted to repay what the leopard had given. One day, the soldier and his comrades were sent to a dangerous area. The wild leopard also seemed to sense the danger. And he followed the soldiers to the battlefield. During the battle, the soldiers encountered an unexpected attack. And the situation became very urgent. The soldiers rushed to fight back. And the wild leopard also showed its amazing fighting power. He swooped down on the enemy on the battlefield, protecting the lives of soldiers. He moved across the battlefield like a bolt of lightning, amazed everyone. Although both the leopards and the soldiers had experienced many battles, this one was particularly brutal. Many soldiers were seriously injured. And the wild leopard was unfortunately shot. And the body began to show obvious fatigue. However, he did not give up his belief in protecting the soldiers. In the end, the wild leopard and the soldiers successfully defeated the enemy. And defended their position. Wild leopard's body was seriously injured. But he still did not stop his determination to protect the soldiers. With his last breath. He conveyed his deep emotion and gratitude to the soldiers. Since then, the relationship between the wild leopard and the soldiers has become more profound. The soldiers' gratitude to the wild leopard was beyond words. And they decided to protect him forever. Just as he protected them. Although it is just a wild leopard, its speed and strength make soldiers feel at ease. 
a deep relationship has been established between the soldier and the wild leopard. And the wild leopard is like a soldier's family, always guarding his side, accompanied by wild leopards. The soldier's tasks were completed more smoothly. They experienced countless dangers and difficulties together, but also shared endless joy and victories.